AI has never been so accessible, thanks to easy, developer-friendly APIs from companies such as OpenAI, Entropic, Google, and more. And even though there are multiple open source choices, such as Hugging Face, to run your own self-hosted version of popular open source models like Mistral or Llama, many build their AI applications relying on a single cross source provider the most used being OpenAI. It's not ideal, especially when those providers decide to increase censorship, decrease the quality of their models for whatever reason, or prioritize diversity above truth, like we saw recently with Gemini. Today I will show you how you can use one library to build your application from the ground up while preserving your freedom of choice at any stage. And this library is called Light LLM. First, Light LLM is super simple. You install one library, set up environment variables with credentials, and you can swap any LLM provider just by changing a string in the name of the model. It has a unified API, the same input-output for all models. The creators implemented the most popular one from OpenAPI and wrapped all LLMs to work with the same API. Any provider becomes a drop-in replacement and won't affect your application code. Function calling is an important LLM feature, allowing the model to call external tools to perform actions like fetching real-time weather data, browsing the web, or executing code. Not only light LLM support function calling for OpenAI, but it also adds support for other LLMs by adding the function call to the prompt. You can now use function calling with any providers using the same unified API. Asynchronous support is important to scale API calls on a single thread since most of the time you are waiting for the LLM to answer your calls. Async generation allows you to call APIs multiple times concurrently without using multiple threads or processes, which is really useful. Also, streaming comes in handy to show something to your users as soon as the LLM starts generating. With Light LLM, it's as simple as using A completion for asynchronous completion instead of completion and setting stream to true. If you are serious about building a real AI-based application, observability is important. You want to track input outputs, latency, token usage, and more metrics. Light LLM adds observability to your app with callbacks that integrate easily with tools like LegFuse or LLM Monitor to track important metrics. Light LLM also offers a proxy server. It will run a server that will intercept all the API calls you are making and will provide a dashboard to visualize important metrics, set budgets per endpoints, create API keys, and more. Finally, Light LLM has many cool additional features, such as a function to create embeddings or generate images for the supported models with the same unified API. Just a word about Longchain, which is another popular library that supports multiple LLMs. To me, Longchain can be interesting if you are using some of the advanced features, such as document splitters, memory, and such. But Longchain is a huge library, bloated with tons of features. I would default to use a light LLM, as it's a light wrapper around LLMs to unify their APIs. It will get you far, and I personally use Longchain way less since I discovered light LLM. So don't get tied to a single LLM provider, or you might be surprised in a bad way when they will abruptly change their models or access policies. Prefer to build from the start using Light LLM, as it will give you the freedom of choice at any stage of your application lifecycle. And if you want to build web applications to showcase your awesome AI features without writing a single line of JavaScript, you can check my other video where I show you how I used HTMX to build RustGPT, which is ChatGPT clone. See you in the next one.